Got another question for the Synoptic Questions playlist. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So why does the CF4 molecule have polar bonds but not an overall dipole? It's down to the fact that fluorine is the most electronegative atom and so therefore there's a difference in electronegativity in these bonds making them polar. The molecule doesn't have an overall dipole because the molecule is symmetrical. So all these identical dipoles cancel out. Part B, explain why a small proportion of molecules in water have a relative molecular mass of 20. Well, this is down to isotopes. So you could have a water molecule with the deuterium isotope in there for hydrogen, so H2. Still got 16 for the oxygen, and you can see that adds up to 20. Alternatively, you could have said an oxygen 18 isotope with the regular H1 isotopes. So either of those would have been fine. Moving on to part C. So partial pressure is equal to the mole fraction times the total pressure. So the partial pressure of oxygen is going to be its mole fraction, which is going to be 0.21 because for every 100 molecules, we're talking about 21 being oxygen. So 0.21 times that total pressure. So that comes out at a partial pressure of 21,000 pascals. Part D, what mass of carbon dioxide in grams is formed by the complete combustion of 42 cubic meters of propane, and it's measured at RTP. So the first thing we need to do is put the meters cubed into decimeters cubed, so 42 times 10 to the 3, divide by 24, the molar gas volume, and we get 1,750 moles of propane. Apply the mole ratio, so we're going to get 3 times as many moles of carbon dioxide, and then we just need to multiply by the MR of CO2, which is 44, to convert that to grams which gives an answer of 231,000 grams. Part E, so the reaction's first order with respect to the H plus ion. So what does that mean? It means that the change in rate is proportional to the change in concentration of H plus raised to the power one. So we know the initial rate for pH one, and we want to calculate the initial rate for pH three. So a difference of two in pH is a 100 times decrease in the concentration of the H plus ion. Basically, a change of pH of 1 is a 10 times change in H plus concentration. So to get the new rate, all we need to do is multiply the initial rate at pH 1 by 1 over 100, which gives an initial rate of 2.4 times 10 to the minus 5. So finally, part F, what's the number of oxygen atoms in that many grams of P2O5? Well, first thing we need to do is work out how many moles that is. So mass over MR, 0.03 moles of P2O5. So the moles of oxygen atoms is going to be five times that, because for every mole of P2O5, there's five moles of oxygen atoms. So to turn that into a number of oxygen atoms, we multiply by Avogadro's number which comes out at 9.03 times 10 to the 22.